What's up, YouTube? What's going on? It's your boy, Wizard Works, back at it again. Uh, just thought I'd bring a quick little video. I forgot my mic, uh, my, my corded mic, so I'm not sure how the audio gonna come through, but I hope it comes through and transmits clearly. But I hope everyone had a good Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to everyone. Just wanna do a little quick little video. Uh, temperature today is uh, 58 degrees, so I decided I'll get out and uh, ride a little bit and kind of enjoy the weather. Tried doing a video last weekend, had some technical problems or audio problems. So I ended up having to uh, scratch that uh, video and couldn't put it out last weekend. So I kind of hated that. So trying to do better this weekend, trying to record with uh, my phone on this one. So uh, normally I use my GoPro, but I'm trying to do my phone on this one. Like I said, I hope the audio comes through. Just want to mention a couple of things real quick about the Can Am Spider L3. Uh, some of my plans for the winter. Uh, I would say when I put it up, but it looks like I'm not putting it up. You know, Georgia weather sometimes permits for us not to have to put them up for too long of a time or at all. You pretty much can ride year round if you uh, had the proper gear. Like right now, I have on my Can Am jacket, and I'll show it to you better in a minute. Uh, behind my BRP Can Am jacket on, leather jacket on right now, uh, with a, a light hoodie on and a t-shirt under that. So I'm not feeling anything with 58 degrees right now, especially with the sun shining. I do plan on being back home by the time it gets dark, so I won't have an issue with uh, that. You know, no sun and that cold air just ripping through me. So I uh, hope hope everyone is well. Hope y'all are doing good out there in YouTube land. Uh, I'll always appreciate the support. You know that even if I don't do videos frequently, I always appreciate the support uh, and comments, suggestions, feedback, all that good stuff. So comment, like, subscribe below. I do appreciate it. Uh, so many thoughts, so many thoughts. Can Am Spider L3, three years going in strong and haven't regretted the decision yet. So let's get to it. I have a wireless mic that I just purchased and actually left it at home. So I'm not sure the audio was transmitting through, but I'm gonna try it anyway. But yes, yeah, you can see, I told you I had my jacket on, my Can Am jacket. This is what I'm rocking with right here. Uh, and just a few things real quick about some of my plans for the bike. I'm gonna come getting closer to the camera so the audio can come through. But just a couple of things real quick, some of my plans for the winter months while the bike is put up. All right, YouTube, so let's get at it. Uh, here's some of my thoughts, some of the things I've been thinking about for um, the winter months while the bike is put up, some of the things that I can do. Um, this instrument gauge cluster right here, this windshield right here, I was thinking about replacing it. I was thinking about replacing it. Now, I know I've said in many videos before how much I love it because I like the sleek look of it and it just adds to the overall appearance of the bike. But that Route 129, windshield that I've seen advertised on Can-Am and on Amazon and other vendors as well uh, is not a full height windshield and it still looks sporty and still looks sleek and I think I might be able to do that so that's one of the things that I'm contemplating doing over the winter months is that Route 129 windshield I was getting ready to order it yesterday but I was still skeptical so I didn't do it so kind of, I, I need your help. Comment, like, subscribe below, but comment below and let me know, most importantly comment, let me know what your thoughts are about that Route 129 windshield. If you've, uh, if you had any experience with it, um, if you, you know, using it now, or you had it, you don't have it anymore, whatever your thoughts are, I would be interested in knowing what your thoughts are with that 129, Route 129 windshield. Um, some other things was, uh, you know, over the winter months, you know, I, I need to stop saying put it, putting it up because here in Georgia, the weather uh, permits oftentimes for us to continue to ride year round. So um, there may be a few days where you can't touch it at all. Like today, I didn't know I would be able to ride, but when I saw that weather forecast of 58 and sunny, I knew that the sun would help it feel a little bit warmer and it wouldn't be as bad. So I kind of got out here. So, um, but do. But there are some things I'm planning on doing or want to do uh, over these next few months. Uh, I would like to have an additional um, set of rims. 
all black, all black, preferably, but they're hard to find. It. And as we know, PPA does not make the 16 inch wheels anymore. Um, so, and they're hard to find pre-owned. They're very hard to find pre-owned. So comment below, let me know if anybody's selling any 16 inch, uh, all black PPA wheels, or you know someone who's selling them, uh, holler at your boy, please comment below and let me know, give me that lead. Cause I need those, I don't need them. I would like to have those, that second pair uh, of wheels. So you see what's going on right there. And then also uh, something else why it's put up over the winter months. So we got the windshield, we have the wheels, and I have something special I ordered for this front here. You know, these uh, this carbon fiber sticker on the front uh, is really thin. It's, it doesn't it doesn't have the same quality as what's up here, simply because they didn't make it for this hood part. But now they do. At the time when I ordered these, they didn't make make it for the hood. So I had to match it with another carbon piece as best as, as best as I could. But now they do, and I ordered it. I ordered that, so I'll be doing a video with me actually installing those in the next uh, few days when I get them in. So I'm excited about that. It has a good good gloss quality like this right here. And then durable, like, like more like a rubber versus that matted um, sticker type. So I'm excited about that. So that's coming. The windshield, I'm thinking about the tires I'm trying to find and the sticker marks on the hood is definitely coming in the next a uh, few days, that's coming, that's been ordered. That's been paid for and ordered. Super pumped about that. The next thing, uh, what else have I been thinking about? I thought about, and it's gonna sound a little weird, and I'm turning the camera around on this one. I thought about putting my cat delete back on. My catalytic converter, I'm sorry, my cat delete back on. My catalytic converter back on. And the only reason why was just to tone it down, adjustable to, that's all. But I was thinking about it last night and I was like, ah, I was leaning more towards not doing it after all, but that, you know, that's still something that I'm contemplating and wondering about and thinking about. But uh, just sometimes I just want to knock it down one decibel or two, but most of the time I like it, but I digress. Let's get back to it. I would also like to, uh, the next, and this is pretty much uh, maintenance. I would like to wash it down really, really good. I know it looks clean now, but it's not as clean as I prefer it to be. But I, I would like to clean it down really down, really well again. And then uh, ceramic the whole bike as well. Uh, just to, you know, I try to keep as much dirt as possible off of it, but it's impossible, especially with black. And as you can see, like right here on the, the guard right there, the dirt is on there. And that, that was clean before I left home. So it's hard to keep off, but you know, I try to keep it clean. So just putting as much protection on the paint and uh, on the overall, just everything on the bike as much as possible is always a good thing for me. Um, I was contemplating the new headlights that they have uh, that you can order from Sling Mods. Uh, I have LED uh, head, you know, lights all around, but I wasn't sure if it was worth the money or not, but I may just go ahead and do it anyway, just for the sake of doing it for a video. Uh, and it's to kind of show anybody who is thinking about it, you know, what it would look like. Um, and that's pretty much it. I can't think of anything else. Uh, other than, I, you know, I, I have been looking at that. that uh, like I said, that Fender Delete. Not sure if I like, sometimes I like the look of the fender, the rear fender being removed. And sometimes I like it. So I'm not sure about that part either. But as I'm filming this video, I just see all kind of dirt. It just hurts, me. especially underneath. But I'll wash it down, clean it up in the next week or so. So yeah, just comment, subscribe. Just comment, subscribe. Comment below, give me your feedback below. Of course, I want you to subscribe to the video channel if you haven't. And I always want you to um, leave comments and give healthy feedback. I'm always open to healthy feedback. Again, I do apologize, I don't have my mic on me, but trying to get out of the house, excited about getting on this ride, I left some stuff. So, um, doing the best I can with what I have.
So yeah. I'm open to questions about it. If you see something on here that I've done that you uh, want to ask me about, please let me know. Some of you all may be wondering how these foot pegs are um, doing. They still, just like I installed them, they're still looking good. They still feel good. They haven't loosened up or anything like that. Someone did give me an excellent suggestion and feedback. Uh, and I wish I had that feedback before I actually had put them on but I should have shot some Loctite on some of those screws and put it in there. I did not, I did not do that. However, uh, they have not moved as of yet, anything like that. And the only reason why I haven't taken them off and putting Loctite on them is because they, since they have a, a nice, secure, snug, tight fit right now, I don't want to uh, chance it or, uh, you know, make it, you know, make it loose or make it worse, so. Uh, I, I figure, I said to myself, if they become loose, then I'll go back in and reconfigure with some lock title, do something different. But so far, so good, no issues, so. No issues at all. Running good. Um, I, I, will, I will be checking since I have almost 20,000 miles on this bike, on this rear belt, uh, and see what my maintenance needs to be on there. I think it, in my mind, probably needs to be replaced at this point. Um, so I will check with my maintenance plan and my dealership um, on making sure that gets done. Cause safety first. I don't need to be anywhere stranded or have any issues. I like to do maintenance on everything that I have, period. I don't deal with bald tires. I don't deal with, this is issues that I know exist. My dad always said, you know, you know, there's so many people that get on the road, and I know it may be a means thing as well, but uh, get on the road knowing that there are issues with the vehicle, and then when the vehicle has an issue on the interstate, then all of a sudden, it's an issue. So be as preventive as possible when you're trying to maintain anything, and that kind of that kind of always stuck with me, uh, and I just try to maintain everything. I don't deal. With my wife called my car, my son's car, my daughter's car. Any kind of issues, I try to deal with them in a timely manner, and I try to be as preventive as possible. So, again, comment, like, subscribe below. I appreciate the support as always. Your boy, Dwizzle Works, and I'm out. Peace.